Hey guys, welcome back. We have got some new set of smartphones on the Realme and it is the Realme X3 series. So before we jump into this smartphone, if you go back on, you know, a few years back, like on 2016, uh, the OnePlus brand, you know, they launched their a good flagship device, the OnePlus 3, the later on OnePlus 3T. And the price of the OnePlus 3 was around 28K for the 6 128GB. Looking at that, Xiaomi followed the similar footprint and they launched their sub brand, the Poco brand with the Poco Phone F1. It was again priced very competitively, 24,000 rupees, and they are giving a good processor, Snapdragon 845, a good camera, but with some compromises like on the display and on the durability side, which you might have seen on this thing. Now, like I said, Realme is following the similar footprint. They launched the Realme X3 series, and they are trying to give all the best possible processor keeping the price in the mind like you know they cannot go beyond you know 30k for the base variant then eventually it won't be kind of flagship pillars and if we just take a look on the price of the realme x3 base variant it is launched at 2499 a quick difference between the realme x3 and the x3 super zoom both forms are almost identical except one major difference that is on the realme x3 super zoom you will be getting a 8 megapixel Periscope lens, which is giving you capability of five times optical zoom, and you have a 32 megapixel selfie instead of 16 on the Realme X3. So we'll see more detail on the camera. So let's do a full review and the quick unboxing of the Realme X3 Super Zoom. Let's see whether this device is really a true 4G flagship killer of 2020. In the box, you will get all the usual stuff that Realme used to provide, like a good high quality case, SIM ejection tool, a faster charging, super dark 30 watt cable, and on also the phone also and there's a pre-applied screen protector too now here is the phone you get the phone in two color this is an arctic white and you get the glacier blue this is the realme x this is the realme xt this is the realme x2 technically it should be x1 okay this is the x2 pro and we have the x50 pro and if you just hover over here you will see the similarities and the differences of about the color choice this new color is really good and enhanced if we compare it with the existing realme white color I, I i forgot actually what it was called but here you can see the differences this is more reflective and this is like a matte design and moreover you can see a lot of fingerprint marks here but here you're not going to see any kind of fingerprint marks so design is kept similar but overall finishing has been improved also just for a reference if you want to see how this device feels in hand if you have access to realme 6 pro or you can try out anywhere else this device is having similar dimension as the realme 6 pro i mean the similar weight 202 grams similar height similar display size i mean except internals all things are kept similar so if you just hold a realme 6 pro you get an idea about how the you know x3 phone will feel like okay you get the side mounted fingerprint sensor since there is no amulet display we'll talk about display later so you're gonna get a side mounted fingerprint sensor which i personally think it's more convenient compared to the in display one for example if you just take an in display you have to stretch your thumbs to just make the phone unlock and which sometimes is not convenient and this is the natural resting position of your thumb so same tray on the bottom there is no sd card it takes dual 4g sim type c getting inside you get a big 6.6 .6 inches full hd plus display and the best part about this is that uh, you get a 120 hertz high resolution. there is no 90 just 60 and 120 there are a lot of good applications like the Dead Trigger 2 and all the stuff. They support the higher refresh rate, but not all the applications. Okay. The display is really big, good for watching movies and playing playing games. And you get the dual punch hole camera here, the 32 plus 8 megapixel. About the display quality, see the display is big, like I said, it is good for viewing. And uh, uh, I think so brightness is not really great. It is just 480 nits of brightness. It should have been up to 600 or maybe 500 plus. So colors looks okay since being an LCD display, you cannot expect much sharper and brighter and contrast on this display. And But yeah, it's overall good. Like I have mentioned earlier, you have to look on the price too. And if you just compare it with the Realme X50 Pro, which has again the same kind of display with the dual punch 6.5 inches, you can see the difference. You know, see the AMOLED versus LCD. So if you really want a big brighter display, you might have to look for some other alternate. Moving on to the next stuff, the performance side. And this processor is really great. We have seen on so many popular devices like the OnePlus 7T and in fact on the Realme you get the X2 Pro which has a similar processor. So I don't see any kind of lag on this device. Device is really fast and all the application you're trying to open opens really very fast. So I don't see this device is really slow. Okay. 
and uh, to check the gaming performance on this device i try to play pubg for around 45 net by keeping on the temperature check you get the all the best latest setting available i try to play on the hdr and the extreme setting and uh, i haven't noticed lag so far this device is working super great also there is no heating issues the device reached up to 40 degree which is like 5 to 6 degrees more compared to the initial temperature which is perfectly okay and if you just compare with the benchmark against the 865 you can see the score is quite high and it is quite comparable and very much closer to the 865 so in terms of the specs and paper on the numbers the device performs really great okay now to the main part of this phone that is the camera so on the realme x3 you get the quad camera 64 megapixel main camera followed by ultra wide and there's a telephoto lens and there's a macro lens and if you go to the realme access per zoom you get a 8 megapixel periscope lens just take a look on the camera quality the main camera sensor is the samsung gw1 sensor which realme choosing from so many smartphones like the x50 pro x2 pro there are so many phones they are using and they keep on refining it now i can see that the quality of this uh, photos are really great it is not completely natural you can say it is uh, uh, 10 to 15 percent slightly overexposed the color is more and this is samsung sensor so you can expect such thing but these photos looks very great and sharp for the social media so colors are good every details are very punchy and uh, if you just try to take some indoor photos or maybe you're playing some portrait the main highlight of this realme access for zoom is the periscope lens so you get a five times optical zoom here and if you just go on the camera application you can see you can zoom in hybrid up to 10x and up to 10x the quality is really really very acceptable i mean if you take indoor outdoor up to 10 times quality is really acceptable but now you can go beyond to 20 30 40 50 and up to the 60 time zoom now on the 60 time zoom the quality depends on where you are taking photos for example if you're taking photos on the really bright side like i mean on the outdoor situation where natural light is really good whether it is cloudy or it's a direct sunlight quality is really very really great now you have to understand 60 time won't give you much clarity but you can actually figure out what are you trying to focus on what is the detail for example you can read out some stuff so you can see some details and you can actually figure out and the quality is really very really great if you try to take indoor you may get some you know bit of noise on the indoor because indoor there is no perfect light so this is perfectly acceptable so far i'm quite impressed with the periscope lens i mean all the periscope smartphones which you get like the huawei and the samsung s series they are really very costly so this phone costs just half on those phones and speaking of the other differences the real b uh x3 regular one will get a 16 megapixel front camera and here on the access super zoom you get the 32 megapixel front camera now speaking of the night mode uh company saying they are bringing some new night escape 4.0 i think so uh, personally, I'm not really a huge fan of night escape because it takes a lot of time, but eventually you get the better quality. Also, if you just go on the night mode, you get two new modes. First is this tripod mode. I mean, if you're just trying to take photo with moving or, you know, your hands are shaking. So still you can take better photographs. Now, the second most important here on the Realme X Super Zoom and X3 one is the starry mode. I mean, or you can call it any other way. So how this things work. So I'm really sorry, guys. As of now, I'm not able to show you because of the prerequisite of this starry mode first uh, you're gonna have to go on the area where the skies are totally clear okay and i live in delhi and Seattle, which is amongst the highest populated city in the world so really not possible also this is a, a you know rainy season speaking about the software if you go inside you can see a more about phone section it is based on the android 10 and we have the latest june 5 security patch level and it is running realme ui version 1.0 so you can see how this looks like you get the realme launcher and uh, with some pre-install application which hopefully you can install it but it's not a big deal and i'm not seeing any kind of ads so far on this phone this device also support the dolby atmos with the high res audio okay so you get the dolby atmos which works both on the speaker and the headphones overall the ui is okay and uh, it's keep on improving with time to time now let's talk about the battery stuff also so this phone has a 4200 milliamps of uh, capacity which is quite okay because i don't think so 5000 and 6000 you should go it makes eventually phone really very bulky okay and for the battery backup side uh if i'm using my phone casually like just few photographs some gaming and some social media stuff watching movies and videos i get around six hours of screen on time but today i do very heavy usage for example a lot of bluetooth connectivity with my headphone going out taking photos playing a lot of games so i get around four and a half hours of screen on time which i think so is pretty acceptable because being a big display 6.6 inches it really takes some juice okay and about the charging time according to the company uh, they said like you can charge your phone completely 
on the 60 minute of charging but i'm not sure how they charge it i tried to charge my phone with the screen on and it took me around uh, you know uh, 80 minutes okay all right guys at the last what's my final take on the realme x3 series okay so if we just talk about the price on the 25k you get the base variant that is 6 128 which is more than enough in terms of storage and in terms of ram you get the faster processor the 855 plus you get the big display 6.6 .6 inches 120 hertz feature proofing it is lcd I, I think so this is where company has done compromise because the same combination the full hd 120 hertz you get from other brands which will cost you around just 16 to 17k okay so this is where i think your company has done some compromise and uh, you get the faster storage ufs 3.2 a good versatile camera setup quad camera 64 megapixel sensor i think it really does very nice job it is proven and it has been improved a lot okay faster battery charging 30 watt good battery backup so i think realme x3 is really a uh, kind of true affordable 4g flagship for 2020 uh, between the x3 super zoom and an x3 and uh, that depends on you guys i mean what is your primary need if you really want to the spying job you really want a crazy zoom you should go with the x3 super zoom which will cost you 28k just 3k more than x3 one and uh, about the quality is really good because the periscope concept is still limited to the super flagship phones like galaxies and the huawei phone they are really costly and approximately double to this phone so again if you want to the periscope then you should spend 3k more otherwise realme x3 is more than enough so this is my final thought for the realme x3 do share me your thoughts and opinion also do you really believe this phone is a kind of true best flagship phone in the 4g specs so thank you so much guys for watching this video this is sort have a great day